Uh, this is a video about geraniums. I've done one already about taking cuttings. What I'm going to do with this one down here, what I'm going to do with all of my big ones that aren't in the ground and that are in pots, is pop them against the side of my house. Now this one is from last year. It started off as a tiny plant and last winter what I did was I put it against the side of my house in the shelter so the snow didn't land on it under the little eaves and against the wall of the house there was enough heat coming through radiating from the house in order to keep it alive. It didn't actually die. It looked like it had died and I, was, I, I, I thought to myself this is it but I will get rid of all these dead, dead, dead um, flowers. I've got a little bit longer yet with this one. I'll get rid of all the dead flowers. I'll cut it back a little bit so that none of the energy is going into any of these flowers. I'll get rid of all this and then I'm going to pop it against the side of my house and hopefully next year um, it will still be alive and flourishing and then I can bring it out in its pot in the back garden and pop it on the patio. Okay, so be careful when you do look at it next year. You can be forgiven for thinking it's dead because it'll all be papery and funny. But underneath, just give it a little bit of time because sometimes those roots, they're, they're still alive and the little green shoots come through. So around about March, April, you might see some shoots. It might not. If you've got a nice warm position with a bit of sunshine, it might flower all through for you if you're really lucky. Let's hope we don't have a bad winter. Okay, thank you for listening.